Sir Theodore was built as one of two, later three locomotives for the Glynn Valley Tramway, a two feet four and a quarter inch gauge tramway, which ran from Chirk on the English and Welsh border to granite quarries at Glencariog and Hendre. The line first opened in April 1873 under the auspices of the 1870 Tramways Act. It was horseworked until the 1880s when it was converted to steam power. An Act of Parliament obtained in 1885 granted the company the use of steam traction, but on several provisos from the 1879 Street Tramways Act. This meant that each locomotive was to have such mechanical appliances for preventing its motive power from operating and bringing it and any carriage drawn or propelled to a stand. Freedom from noise produced by the blast or clatter of machinery, such machinery to be concealed from view at all parts above four inches from the level of the rails, the fire to be concealed from view, an indicator by means of which its speed shall be shown, a suitable fender to push aside obstructions, a special bell, whistle, or other apparatus as warning, a seat for the driver so placed in the front of such engine as to command the fullest possible view of the road, a speed not exceeding eight miles per hour. In order to meet these strict criteria, the Glynn Valley Board turned to Bayer, Peacock and Company of Gorton in Manchester, who had considerable experience of building steam tram engines. The design they produced was for a cab-forward 042 locomotive. They had driving wheels 2 feet 6 inches in diameter and trailing wheels 1 feet 9 inches diameter, all covered over by protective skirts. The outside cylinders were 10.5 inches by 16 inches stroke and maximum boiler pressure was 150 psi. The boiler had 75 brass tubes and the total heating surface was 260 square feet. Weight in working order with 700 weight of coke and 340 gallons of water was 14 tons 1100 weight. Tractive effort at 85% cut-off was 7,500 pounds, making them powerful engines for their size and their peculiar gauge. In order to prevent emission of smoke, they were fired on coke rather than coal. And condensing apparatus was provided so that no steam was emitted. The system by a peacock used was based on that developed for its series of tank engines which worked underground on London's Metropolitan Railway. A valve in the smoke box could be turned to admit the exhaust steam via large diameter pipes into the side tanks where it was condensed, but it often got the feed water so hot that the injectors didn't work. A speed indicator was fitted at the chimney end, along with a hydraulically operated governor, which automatically shut off steam if the speed increased above 10 miles per hour. The front of the cab was fully enclosed with glazed windows, and a seat was provided for the driver, but the cab rear was partially open with large cutouts, allowing the crew access to the operating rods for the two sandboxes on the boiler top, as well as the steam manifold. A bell was mounted on the roof, in addition to the very shrill Bayer Peacock whistle. Sir Theodore was equipped with hand and steam brakes. The pair of locomotives were delivered in June 1888, at the cost of £1,200 each. They were named after Sir Theodore Martin, the company chairman, and Henry Dennis, the line's engineer. They were joined by a third engine named Glynn in 1892, the major difference between Glynn and Sir Theodore being that Glynn was a foot longer and had a fully enclosed cab. All three little engines were worked hard pulling the heavy granite trains from Hendre and Glyncariog. Sir Theodore was retubed in 1894, 
which was out of service by 1919. In 1920, she was dismantled for overhaul by a local firm in Chirk. But the job was passed over to Bayer Peacock in Manchester, who fitted a new boiler and firebox. Sir Theodore returned to service in 1925. But when the Glynn Valley shut down in July 1935, she was sold for scrap, together with the other three locomotives, and cut up the following year. With the revival of the Glynn Valley tramway, it is hoped that sooner, rather than later, one of these Bayer Peacock tram engines will once again be seen trundling along the Afon Kairiog. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. Please also like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell. I'd also like to thank the generosity of my Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters who help keep Rail Story producing the content you all enjoy. And see you all next time on Rail Story.